Bore measurement involves measuring the internal diameter of a cylinder, bore, or a pipe. This process requires a high degree of accuracy and precision and can be tricky. There are different aspects of bore deviation that one can test for. Taper, where one end of the cylinder is wider than another. Out of round, in which the bore is no longer a perfect circle. And undersize or oversize, in which the internal diameter becomes smaller or larger. There are a few different methods and tools for bore measurement, all of which come with their own sets of advantages and disadvantages. The first method we'll be looking at uses a telescopic bore gauge. It has two spring-loaded contacts that can move freely until locked. To measure the internal diameter, or ID, of a bore with this gauge, insert the gauge at an angle and rock it back and forth until you feel it catch. Then you lock the gauge, and then measure the length of the gauge using a micrometer or caliper. This is a simple gauge for bore measurement, though it's not easily repeatable and the reliance on feeling the catch of the gauge makes the reading subject to human error. The next method we'll be looking at uses a dial bore gauge. This is a fairly common setup. It has a spring-loaded measuring head that adjusts to the size of the bore, with a fixed anvil on one side and a spring-loaded anvil on the other that translates movement to the dial indicator. One can attach extensions to the fixed anvil based on the size of the bore. The measuring head has two metal roller discs that help to center the gauge with the bore. To measure the ID of a bore with this gauge, you first have to calibrate it to a nominal number with a micrometer, a caliper, or a setting ring. Insert the measuring head of the bore gauge and rock it back and forth, keeping an eye on the gauge at its highest point. Adjust the dial to show zero for the maximum reading point. Now that the analog gauge has been calibrated, you can use it to measure the deviation of the bore from the calibrated diameter. Insert the measuring head into the bore at an angle and rock it back and forth, keeping a close eye on the indicator. The highest point the indicator shows is the difference between the actual ID reading and the calibrated value. By doing some simple math, you can find the actual bore ID and write down the readings or enter them into a computer. This technique could be tricky, with a big chance of human error during the dial reading. A digital dial indicator can also be used to replace the analog dial. Some of them have an auto peak hold function to provide easy detection of the hole diameter. The dial bore gauge method is easier to repeat than the telescopic gauge method, and the measuring head self centers, making for easier measurement. But it still has a significant potential for human error since the maximum and minimum peak detection is still determined visually. The last method we'll go over uses multiple contact gauges. This comes in either a micrometer head style or a spring-loaded pistol grip style, which is easier to use but less stable. Insert the measuring head into the bore and either release the spring or turn the micrometer end to get the ID measurement of the bore, then record it. This method requires minimal repositioning and for most cases, no calibration process. However, it lacks the flexibility of adding extensions for different bore sizes and is usually the most expensive among the options. Besides the conventional methods, Motionix offers a novel wireless smart bore gauge measurement solution by combining a regular dial bore gauge with Motionix wireless dial indicator, blue dial, along with the smart software. Bore measurement reading and recording can be as easy as moving the bore gauge back and forth. The software is smart enough to find the maximum reading from the wireless dial indicator remotely and capture the bore size automatically without even looking at the dial readings or doing any math. The measurement value can be recorded or shown on a large digital or analog screen, or it can be compared to the tolerance to the software with an automatic out-of-tolerance judgment notification. This wireless smart method removes human error in the visual reading of the peak, is easily repeatable, and provides an excellent recording and reporting option to eliminate any error during inspection. You can check out our other videos on wireless measurement tools and new dimensional measurement technologies on our channel. You can also visit us at motionix.com. Thank you for watching.